Hey guys, this is Paish from Beyond.com and I'm pretty sure you've heard about the Indian government banning 59 Chinese apps from the Play Store and the App Store and these include some really popular apps. Now, these apps have been banned as per the press release for engaging in activities which is prejudicial to sovereignty and integrity of India, defense of India, security of state and public order. Now, that sounds serious. Now, according to TikTok's statement, this is an interim order and the banned apps will be given a chance to respond to the government's concerns before a committee. But there are a lot of questions right now. I mean, TikTok is not available if you search on the Play Store. But if you search on Chrome and go through the link, it's still on the Play Store. So it's clearly not a permanent ban, but yeah, it's confusing. See, a number of these apps come pre-installed on a lot of phones. So how about that? A number of people are actually using these apps on their phones. So will they stop working? Will they continue to work? Yeah, there's a lot of questions and we should get the details from the government soon. But if you want to move ahead, stop using these apps altogether. Well, it's time to talk about some great alternatives. Now we're talking about the alternative to actually some really useful and popular apps and not apps like say apps from Cheetah Mobile, which are actually something you should never use. So if you have them, just get rid of them already. Now let's talk about the alternatives to popular Chinese apps. Okay, so cam scanner is something a lot of people use and it has had its issues in the past. I mean, last year Kaspersky found a Trojan module in the app and it had gone away, but it came back and now it's banned again, but there are some alternatives you can use. So there's Google Drive, which has a simple scan feature that not many people know about. And there's Adobe Scan and Microsoft Office Lens, both of which are feature packed like cam scanner. Now Adobe Scan is something I prefer because I like the fact that it can detect the document is scanning be it the ID card or a receipt or a whiteboard or your usual documents. It also has different editing tools, OCR support and scanned images don't have any watermark on them. So it's great. So in the whole list of these banned apps, there are a lot of Chinese browsers. There's CM browser, APUS browser, and of course the infamous UC browser, which in the past has been in the news for taking unnecessary permissions, showing spammy ads. So yeah, you shouldn't be using these browsers anyway, but you, the browser you should be using is Firefox. I know there's Chrome too, obviously, but I'm recommending Firefox for its privacy focused approach. First of all, Firefox brings a clean and bloat free experience, unlike UC browser. And like I said, it's focused on privacy and security. I mean, it blocks a lot of trackers automatically, so that's great. Plus, it has all the great features like visual tab, truly secure private browsing, etc. So Firefox is a great alternative to basically any browser out there. So Shareit and Zenda are another really popular apps on this whole band list. Uh, but off late, they have become kind of spammy and bloaty, especially share it. Now, I personally used to use Zender a lot to transfer files from my phone to my PC, but off late, I've been using something really cool and really easy called Snapdrop. Now, Snapdrop isn't an app. It's a web-based service, so it works on basically any platform. So say I wanted to send files to my Mac from my phone, so I can just open up snapdrop.net on both the devices on any of the browsers. And as you can see, the other device shows up. I just tap on the device and send any file I want. How easy is that? And I like the fact that Snapdrop is open source and just clean all around. Now I use Snapdrop for the phone to PC file transfer, but you can also use files by Google if you want to send files between Android devices. So ES File Explorer is another infamous app that has had its issues in the past. The app has been reported to, you know, share app recommendations, add spyware to Android devices and be shady in general. Now, a lot of Android skins, almost all the Android skins come with their old file manager apps. But if you want a third party file manager app, there are a lot of great options. I mean, if you want a simple free file manager, there's obviously files by Google. And if you want a great paid option, there's Solid Explorer. Now, I personally prefer FX File Explorer because it's privacy focused. There are no ads. Its free version brings the most handy features like multiple windows, support for most archive formats. And I like the fact that its Android TV app works well too. So yeah, just try out FX File Explorer. So TikTok has been banned and no, it's not the only video sharing platform from China that has been banned. There's also Like and Kuai. I'm not sure how do you pronounce it, 
but there are some good alternatives to TikTok that you can use. First, there's Triller from a California-based company, and this is already a pretty popular app. I mean, I tried out the app and it does not take any unnecessary permissions, and I came across a number of celebrities posting videos on the platform, so that's good. Plus, it brings TikTok-like features. As you can see, you can create music videos, and there are different tracks to choose from, like TikTok, and you also get the feature where you can collaborate with other users. Now, apart from Taylor, I also tried out India-based apps like Chingari and Raposo. Now, Chingari just doesn't load up for me and Raposo isn't as feature-rich as TikTok, but you can give these a try. Viva Video is a video editing app that has gotten really popular in India. Now, this is an app that was banned back in 2017 as well for spying on Indian users, so it's obviously kind of shady but there are some great video editing apps you can use on Android. Now there's InShot if you want the same portrait UI or the tools similar to what you get in Viva Video, or you can use KineMaster, which is more feature packed. I mean, it has got features like multi-device timeline, all the video editing tools, different textiles, effects, transitions. So yeah, I think you should be fine with KineMaster. Now, if you want a free video editor that does not add watermarks at all, you can check out a list from the description down below. Hello, the social media app that got really popular in India because of its region language support has been banned too and you can use ShareChat instead which also brings the same. So ShareChat is an app based out of India and it offers content in 15 regional languages which is great. I mean, there's no English support and when I tried out the app, I basically saw people posting memes, quotes, WhatsApp forwards and things like that. So yeah, I'm not a big fan of the app. I mean, why would people want to use this? But people used Hello, so I don't know. Dio Recorder is a screen recorder app that also got pretty popular, but it's been banned now. But you don't really have to worry because there are a lot of great screen recording apps on the Play Store. My recommendation is this screen recorder, no ads. Yeah, plain and simple. First of all, this is ad free, like the name says, and it brings all the features. There's support for different resolutions, different frame rates, and on Android 10 devices, there's support for internal audio recording, which is awesome if you want to record your gaming sessions. So yeah, this is a simple, great alternative that just works when compared to DU Recorder. Vault Hide is a photos and videos hider app that was flagged recently for its privacy issues, and now it's been banned. Now, there are a lot of alternatives to hide photos and videos, but one app I like is KeepSafe. KeepSafe uses Cypher AES-256 encryption, which is the same protocol used in many banking apps, and it's an app that lets you protect or hide your private documents, videos, and photos. It also has great features like phase down auto lock, encrypted backups, trash recovery, and break-in alerts. So yeah, it kind of brings everything you need. So yeah, use this instead of Vault Hide. Well, there are a lot of other apps with these privacy issues and if you want alternatives for every single one of them, we have an extensive detailed list on Chinese apps alternatives, so check it out from the link below. Also, if you have any of these banned apps pre-installed in your phone, we have a how-to on how you can remove these bloatware apps, so go ahead, check that out too. Also, what do you think of this whole ban? Tell us in the comment section below and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and make sure to share it with your friends. Lastly, subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. Well, that's me signing off. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.